Hello and welcome to another episode of The Naked Turn. Today I'm going to be turning down a small, uh, what is this, about a eight and a half inch bowl that is a piece of Claro walnut that was given to me by a friend who lives up in Santa Rosa. And so this is locally grown Claro uh, walnut. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful piece of wood. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of that right now. Always remember to be safe when you're turning. Use uh, your, the appropriate safety equipment and don't do anything that feels like uh, it could lead to injury. All right, you guys take care and we'll see. Okay, so here's this piece of Clara Walnut. I've got the back side of the bowl pretty much shaped and uh, ready to go. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of finish on it. I have it sanded down to a 400 grit. And uh, I did a little bit of step sanding to get to that point. So now I'm just going to burnish in a little bit of my friction rub um, polish, which once again is a mixture of shellac, carnauba wax, oil, butcher block oils, and uh, beeswax mixed with a little bit of denatured alcohol. And uh, I'm just going to rub a little on right now first and then I'll get the blade spinning. There are a few little checks in this piece of wood and uh, I'm hoping that by putting this finish on I can kind of stabilize some of those checks and potential split areas. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the lathe on slow speed. And put it on forward. I had it on reverse for a little bit of reverse sanding, and uh, which helps to knock down the wood grains in the opposite direction from what you first turned it in. So if you do have a reversing lathe, uh, it definitely does help in the sanding process. Something to keep in mind if you're looking for a lathe. It is nice to find one with the uh, reversing option. So like I was saying, this particular piece is going to be for, potentially if it turns out well, it's going to be for a friend of mine who found some turning tools for me, which I've been using. Actually, I used on this bowl a few of them, and they seem to be really nice. So, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Wright. It's greatly appreciated. And so much so that I'm spending my Saturday off turning you a bowl. I haven't been turning, uh, haven't been shooting very much video because of my work schedule. And uh, hopefully I'll be continuing to work a lot. Uh, but it has led to a decrease in my videos. All right, there it is. Bottom side of the Claro Walnut Bowl. It's a really nice piece of Claro Walnut. It's turning very nicely. Walnut is a great wood to turn relatively soft and uh, easy to sand. All right, so there we go. I'm going to turn this around now, put it back in my scrolling jaw chuck, and uh, I'll be using that to do the turning of the inside of the bowl. What I've done today is something that I usually don't do. I have my faceplate, which is a 1 inch by 8 inch thread, attached to my faceplate adapter, um, and then just chucked it up inside of my scrolling jaw chuck which actually seemed to work really well which eliminates one step of taking the chuck off putting it back on removing the um, the chuck the spindle adapter so this way I can just unscrew my faceplate pull the um, spindle adapter out and leave my scrolling jaw chuck on the lathe seems like it kind of will speed things up a little bit anyway there it is okay I'm gonna do a little close-up shot here um, of the beginning of the hollowing out of the inside of this 
walnut bowl, chloro walnut bowl. So we're ready to turn. Everything's locked off and safety goggles on. Here we go. Okay, so now I am going to do some additional hollowing. Okay, here we go. I was just actually looking at this and contemplating turning it into, since it's a walnut, piece of walnut, turning it into a nut bowl. I'm drilling a series of holes in here um, to turn it into a nut bowl, but I think I'm actually going to continue turning it into a regular bowl because it will be more useful uh, for the intended recipient. Okay, I'm switching over to a scraper. <clears throat> and this scraper is actually uh, a scraper that was given to me by the gentleman who I'm making this bowl for. Alright, now I'm going to switch back over to my bowl gouge. Thank <laughs> you. 
switching over to my scraper for one last little pass inside of here. just about sanding. And I'll check back in with you, show you the finish going on. Okay, so I'm going to put some finish on the inside of the bowl right now. I got it sanded down to a 400 grit and uh, it's time to put some finish on. slower. And I let it drink some of that in. As you can see, it gives it a really nice finish really quickly. I'll put a little bit more on. And get it going again. The nice thing about this finish is it hardens almost immediately. And in 24 hours, it's cured completely um, and ready for you to utilize so you can start having food out of this. I generally don't like to um, put wet food into these bowls, but you could eat salads and stuff like that out of it as long as you um, rinse them out afterwards so that the water doesn't sit in them. Increase the speed now. Okay, and there it is.